Hi, Anthony. Uh, I'm looking at your homework in section 7.4, and let's look at a couple of these problems. And I'm trying to figure out what you're doing wrong with the um, use of stat crunch. On this uh, first part, uh, the, the critical value, the answer is 1.88, and you've got minus 2.69 to plus 2.69. Well, first of all, this is just a one-tailed test, not a two-tailed test. So you wouldn't have two values for your critical value of z. And remember, looking back up here, which you got right, the null and the alternative. The alternative just has the greater than symbol, which tells you that's a one-tailed test, and also that it's the right tail or upper tail test. Um, if this had been not equal, then you would have had a two-tailed test, but it's it's not. The alternative is a greater than, which is a right-tailed test. So let's look at um, StatCrunch. You can get StatCrunch to come up here. Okay, I had a problem there with my Windows configuration for a second. Anyway, here's StatCrunch, and I've already uh, called up the uh, normal calculator, which I think you know how to use, just stat calculators normal get you this thing and we know it's a right tail test so our symbol should be the greater than or equal and our alpha is 0.03 so we put 0.03 in the probability I'll just click that out and recalculate and so we get the critical value of Z is 1.88 just a single value uh, I was trying to guess and the only way I could come close to what you had was by putting an extra zero in there. And then I get a, a 2.74. And I think your answer was 2.69. And that, I, I don't know what you did to get 2.69. But again, the main thing, this is just a right tail test um, with a, a critical value of 1.88. Okay, let's look at the next part. You uh, pick the right pick, uh, graph of the rejection region, the upper tail test. Now, the next thing is, what is the standardized mm -hmm. test statistic? And the answer is 6.28, and you had minus 5.52. Now, for the life of me, I don't know how you come up with the minus. Um, if we call up the... the um, proportion um, calculator. I'm wondering, let me just see, if we go to Z stats, one sample with summary, if somehow you use this in order to come up with um, your answer, I, I don't know if that's what you did, but um, on proportions, what you need to remember is that we always use the proportion stats. It's, it is a z-test, but we use proportion stats for proportions. And we've got a one sample with summary. That's what we come up here. And it's critical. It's very sensitive um, to uh, entering the data correctly. Uh, we're, we've given, we're given an N of 1040. And the X bar, uh, the P hat, I'm sorry, not X bar, P hat, our, our sample proportion is 0.4. And so you've got to multiply that out either in your calculator or you can, you can do it in StatCrunch if you want to, but a calculator is probably faster. And you get 416 successes out of that 10,000, I'm sorry, 1,040 observations. And then setting up the hypothesis test for the proportion of 0.31 and remember it's a right tail test so it's very important that you select the right tail and then we click on compute and we get our z stat of 6.28 which is what they came up with and our p value is very very small so we would we would reject the null on your answer over here you were consistent you said the z stat was minus, which is definitely not in the rejection region. Therefore, you would fail to reject. And so I'll give you 
a little, some credit for that. And uh, but in general, I, I don't see what you're doing wrong here. Going back to problem three, you you made an error there on your critical values, and again, you've got a two-tailed test, two values, and um, up here you've identified the alternative and the null correctly. This is a one tail, lower tail test, so our critical value of z is going to be a negative number, uh, but you won't have two values, you just have one. And let's just look at our calculator again here. If we've got a one tail test and it's a lower tail test, so I'm going to point it that way, and alpha is 0.01 all of that's down there so the critical value of Z is minus 2.33 and I'm wondering if you put in half no I don't know uh, let me see what is 2. Point minus 2.704 04. What kind of probability? That's 0 0.003. I I don't know where they where you're getting that um, for the life of me. But if you put in the one tail lower tail test, put all of alpha down there, you will get the correct answer there. So let's look at one more. Okay, here's problem five. You got the null and the alternative stated correctly. Um, since the alternative is a not equal, that makes it a two-tailed test. And so you would have a negative and a positive value of z critical. And you just put in just the negative, uh, the lower tail. I, I don't uh, know why you did that. But if you use StatCrunch, you will get the correct answer. Um, alpha is 0.08. So for a two-tailed test, you put alpha over 2 in each tail. And so down the lower tail, it's 0.04, and that gives a, uh, stand, or excuse me, a critical value of Z on the... Okay, Anthony, had that phone call come in, and let me get back on track. Uh, this was a two-tailed test, and since the alpha was 0.08, we put half of alpha in each tail, the lower tail is a critical value of minus 1.75, and then we can do the upper tail, of course, 0.04, and that's plus 1.75. So you've got two rejection areas, uh, zones with the uh, area under the curve of 0.04 and 0.04. Um, and again, I'm not sure how you got minus 0.25. Um, but this is how you do it using StatCrunch uh, correctly. The other part is the actual hypothesis test. And you uh, correctly selected the, the sketch which showing the two tails, the plus and minus. And if you've got two tails, then you have to have a plus and minus critical value of, of Z. If you've got one tail, you have one value of critical Z. The test statistic we can calculate using a formula. Uh, but, of course, I recommend using the um, stat crunch because this is another proportion problem. We use proportion stats, one sample with summary. It comes up, and in this particular problem, we don't have to do the uh, little calculation there. It gives us number of successes, 401, observations, 1,000. The hypothesis is 0.44. And it's a two-tail, a not equal, and click on compute. Let me uh, get that out of the way so we can concentrate here a little bit. Anyway, there's a summary of our test that matches the hypothesis that you, you wrote down. And our Z statistic is minus 2.484. And if you start rounding that, you might get 2.49, but... Uh, let's just call it 2.48. You got minus 2.55. What I'm guessing there is that you entered some 
value, if, if you use the proportion test, that you entered one of these values incorrectly. Um, but as I said earlier, you may have not thought to use the proportion instead of the uh, standard z-test. Um, and again, because this is, uh, what was our critical value? Our critical value is plus or minus um, do that again there 0.04 so we can see our little test there the rejection region is anything smaller than minus 1.75 and of course minus 2.48 is out here which is within the rejection region and also uh, we get the same answer when we run our test we get a p-value of 0 0.013 which is less than our p or alpha of 0 0.08, therefore both those things tell us to reject the null. So I hope this little review shows you um, how you can get the right answers using StatCrunch, and if it doesn't help you, uh, give me a holler.